Welcome to Lake to Lake, a show about our beautiful city of Bellevue. I'm Robin Steele. On today's Lake to Lake, we're highlighting the expansion of Bellevue's waterfront. A one minute look at how the city keeps its vehicles ready to serve our city. Some important tips to help you navigate those flashing yellow lights and some great upcoming events. First, we're coming to you from Maidenbower Bay, where an exciting new construction project is underway that will transform our city's connection to our waterfront. Planning Manager Glenn Coast explains. The Maidenbower Bay has been one of the city's best kept secrets for a long time. It's literally within a block and a half of downtown. It's right near the Main Street shops. It's a block and a half from the downtown park. And even those residents uh, that live in downtown, many of them are not even aware of how close the downtown Bellevue is to the water. This is the Maiden Bar Bay Park construction project, phase one of the project. This is a, a waterfront park that will in fact connect Maiden Bar Bay Park to, to the marina and uh, for, with about 700 feet of waterfront. We will enlarge the the swimming beach will about double the size of the old swimming beach at Maidenbauer. We will provide a significant uh, array of pedestrian promenades. We'll have a uh, pedestrian pier that juts out into the water. And in addition to that, we're going to be able to rent uh, non-motorized boats, such as uh, uh, paddle boats and canoes and kayaks and stand-up paddle boards. Maidenbauer Bay Park is going to be the starting point of the city's grand connection which is a concept, a pedestrian concept, that will bring people from Maidenbower Bay through downtown Bellevue all the way out to the Wilburton uh, and Eastside Rail Corridor. The concept of creating a waterfront park on Maidenbower Bay was actually adopted by the council in the 80s. And we spent 15 years acquiring property, another four uh, planning and designing and then permitting the project, and we will now be spending a year and a half building phase one and we hope to open this to the public by the end of 2018. The park's been funded in, in a couple of different ways. Uh, first, funds were acquired through the park and uh, natural areas levy in 2008. That was really the impetus for this project, but also the, through the city's CIP program, as well as we've gotten uh, grants through this, the state of Washington as well. To me, Maidenbauer, Maidenbauer Bay Park is more than just a park. It's really part of an entire fabric of the city. So it's been a long, long time coming, but it's, it's really one of the signature projects for Bellevue. Next, Glenn takes us on a quick tour of the project to show us just how transformative it will be. So what we see now is the, the, the beach house. Uh, that's gonna be adjacent to the, the beach and it's gonna end up with public restrooms uh, locker rooms and changing rooms for those uh, beach users. So it's going to be adjacent to the expanded beach area. So right now they're in the final stages of constructing the, the actual walls of the beach house. So you see a lot of uh, rebar and iron uh, for the workers to complete the, the final uh, stage of the walls. And then from that point they're going to, there's still a lot of plumbing, electrical work, uh, and finish work to do. Okay, so one of the unique features of the bathhouse is that you'll be able to walk literally onto the roof of the bathhouse and that function is a, as an overlook. So right from the, one of the pedestrian promenades, you walk onto the roof of the bathhouse to, to see out, to get a really good view of the bay and the surrounding area. A unique feature of this park is the series of uh, retaining walls and terraces that we're creating because what we have is a an elevation gain from the lake up to Lake Washington Boulevard of almost 80 feet. So we're creating a series of terraces that uh, will, will off afford uh, the users areas for, for lounging and picnicking. And so this, all this used to be in a, in a pipe. In the spring and early summer and part of the winter we'll have water at least up until that first little uh, kind of dam looking thing. And this will all of course be planted and it'll all be cool, really cool. That's the sort of the after view and of course all the areas that are dark are ultimately going to be landscaped. But you can see the, the route of the, of the channel that has been carved out where the pipe used to be. 
And on the other side of the bridge is kind of a sense of the before. This is sort of the after, and that's the before. So it gives you kind of a good idea of sort of what it was. Not exactly, but this is still part of Maidenbauer Bay Park. And so that's the promenade comes down and we will be connecting that promenade all the way down to the lakefront and then uh, along the shoreline. So it's, it's a really long project and I, th and I think the community is going to love it. Now you've no doubt seen police cars, fire trucks and other city vehicles around town and most of us probably haven't thought a lot about what it takes to keep them on the road. But next, in a new segment called Just a Minute Today in Bellevue, we roll into the Fleet Services shop to find out. If you'd like to see more Just a Minute Today in Bellevue segments, you can friend us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Next, we share some important tips to help you navigate those flashing yellow lights seen at intersections around town. On the go in Bellevue, here's what you need to know. About flashing yellow arrows. If the traffic signal is a flashing yellow arrow, left turns are permitted, but you must always yield to oncoming vehicles, bicyclists, and pedestrians. As you approach a flashing yellow arrow, wait behind the stop line. When there is a safe gap and the crosswalk is clear, proceed into the intersection. If you're behind another vehicle, do not assume that it's safe to follow. Watch for oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A solid green arrow means your turn is now protected. A solid yellow arrow means it's about to change to a solid red arrow do not enter the intersection. A solid red arrow means stop and wait at the stop bar. Your vehicle will be detected. Always pay attention to your designated signal as it can change at any time. And that's what you need to know to stay on the go in Bellevue. It's January and many of us have resolved to be more fit and active this year. So next we're highlighting some fun events to help us do just that. On January 10th from 12 noon to 1 p.m., come to the Dr. Martin Luther King Celebration at Bellevue City Hall. The event will feature a distinguished panel of community leaders to discuss the importance of Dr. King's ideas today, life on the East Side, and their thoughts on the progress of equality and equity in American society. For more information, call 425-452-7886. On January 14th from 2 to 3 p.m., come to Living with Wildlife, Deer in the Headlights at Lewis Creek Park Visitor Center and learn about deer biology, how to address potential issues, and more. The event is for ages 13 and up and pre-registration is not required. For more information, call 425-452-4195. On January 21st from 10.30 a.m. to noon, enjoy the Lakemont Community Park Ranger Hike. The hike is classified as difficult with an elevation change of 350 feet. The walk is free for all ages and pre-registration is not required. For more information, call 425-452-4195. And on January 26th from 6 to 7.30 p.m., come to a night hike at Lewis Creek Park. 
Join a park ranger on a hike through the woods after dark and learn about the different nocturnal species that call Bellevue home. The hike is for ages five and up. The cost is four to five dollars and pre-registration is required. For more information and to register, call 425-452-4195. Thank you for joining us today from Maidenbauer Bay. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you have feedback or questions for us, please email us anytime at btv at bellevuewa.gov. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our latest video content. I'm Robin Steele. Thanks for watching Lake to Lake.